Okay, so what is Google Workspace and how can it help you as a teacher? So in this video, we're going to answer that question with a quick overview of the top 10 Google Workspace apps for teaching and learning. So let's get into it. So we're going to do this countdown style. Let's start with number 10, Google Calendar. Google Calendar is an online calendar that helps you remember and schedule events. Now you could use Calendar to schedule out everything, but you might also just use it to remember important things. Let's say you have a meeting with your principal. Put in Google Calendar, set a reminder. Reminder pops up on your phone so you don't forget and miss the meeting. And a newer feature of Google Calendar is appointment slots, which lets other people schedule meetings with you. So that could be great for parent-teacher conferences, office hours, or anything that you need appointments for. Number nine is Gmail. Gmail is an email service that you might already be using. It provides a good way to communicate with your coworkers, families, and maybe students if they're older. And with a little know-how, you can really efficiently organize your emails with labels and folders, and you can use filters which automatically send your emails to specific inboxes or maybe delete them altogether. Okay, number eight is Google Sites. Google Sites is a platform to create websites without any coding knowledge or technical knowledge. If you have a need for it, you could do some great things with Google Sites. You could create and maintain a class website to share with students and families. You could have students create their own portfolios. You could also create a website for your grade level or your content area, or you could even create a website for your school. All right, number seven is Google Chrome. Google Chrome is the most widely used internet browser in the world by a lot. So you might already be using Chrome, but as an educator, you can really get full use of it if you learn a couple of tips. For example, using and organizing bookmarks, which help you find your favorite websites quickly, and they also sync across all of your devices. Also, you can install Chrome extensions or add-ons to help you do more things. And there are a lot of great extensions in the Chrome Web Store. All right, number six is Google Drive. Google Drive is an online storage location for all of your files, worksheets, assignments, images, PDFs, just about anything that's digital can go in there. Basically, Google Drive is an online filing cabinet that you can access from any internet connected device, even your phone. And Google Drive has really great search capabilities to help you find things. And one of the nice things about Google Drive is that files that you create in other Google Workspace apps are automatically added to Google Drive. So in a lot of ways, it's kind of just working in the background, but it's there when you need it to help you find things or organize things. All right, we're halfway through our countdown. If you're getting some value from this video, consider subscribing or liking this video. And by the way, if you would rank these apps differently, or if you think we're missing something, let us know what you think in the comments below. All right, moving on to number five, Google Sheets. Google Sheets is a spreadsheet program for data analysis and visualization. It helps you track and sort data, especially student data, like grades and scores, contact info. And the sorting is a huge deal because it helps you organize data the way that you need to see it alphabetically, numerically, or whatever works for you. And how about this? If you've ever spent a lot of time on report card comments, maybe too much time, check out the link in the description below for a Google Sheets file that can help you get report card comments done lightning fast. Okay, number four is Google Forms. Google Forms is an online interactive platform, and the name Google Forms really doesn't capture everything that can do. Yes, it can create online forms and surveys, but it can also take the form input and create charts and graphs that help you visualize the results. And it can also help you create quizzes that are even self-grading. Plus, you can insert images and videos in Google Forms to help you create a multimedia experience for your form users. All right, before we get into the top three Google Workspace apps, just want to give a shout out to a couple of apps that aren't in this top 10 list. Google Earth is a platform for exploring and mapping any location on Earth. 
It's amazing looking and super fun to use. Google Meet is a Zoom style video conferencing platform, which helps you meet with people that can't come to where you are. And YouTube, which you might not think of as a Google Workspace app, but it's super useful for educational video content. Plus, it integrates really well with the other Google Workspace apps. All right, moving on to number three is Google Classroom. Google Classroom for a lot of teachers is number one. Because if you use Google Classroom, especially if you use it a lot, this is the hub that ties everything together. You post student work. Students find their work. Students do their work. You see who has completed their work. You grade student work. It's a whole system to help you manage the learning experience. And Google Classroom has a really powerful grade book so that you can provide feedback to your students and it can automatically create grades. And for students, Google Classroom is really helpful because they can see what work is due when at a glance. Okay, number two is Google Slides. Google Slides is a presentation program for creating slideshows, similar to PowerPoint. Now, as a teacher, you can create really engaging multimedia presentations to power up your classroom instruction. And students can create presentations as assignments. Students can also collaborate on presentations together, which is great for group projects. Okay, number one, Google Docs. Google Docs is a word processing program similar to Microsoft Word. Why is it number one? Because for a lot of teachers and students, Google Docs is used every single day. Students submit their work in Google Docs, and teachers can create all kinds of things in Google Docs. Worksheets, homework, tests and quizzes, planning documents. Google Docs is truly a workhorse. And speaking of Google Docs or any of these other apps, if you're ready to learn more, check out the other videos on this channel. We've got all kinds of videos to help you learn about any of these apps. So we'll see you in the next video.